What's the deal? This is Boy McLean at the Wayne McLean TV. We back again with another video. And uh, shouts out to the whole DMTV fam. I really appreciate everybody showing support. And uh, you know, we out. I said, you know what I'm saying? Let me might as well get a, get a video out of the way while I'm out and about and I'm riding. And, and uh, so I can go ahead and get this, get this content out on the latest news that's going on. So what recently happened is Miss Brittany Griner of Greniers. I, I heard you spell, you pronounce her name as Brittany Grenier. And um, I heard that, that she has recently got sentenced to nine years for a vape pen in Russia. Um, I've seen a lot of outrage about it. You know, I, th I think there should be outrage about it. I've seen, um, you know, Boozy, of course, made his, you know, he about to start being a local guest on my channel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm gonna use the black man too. You know what I mean? Vlad using him, I'm gonna use him. You know what I mean? But he do have a lot of good, strong topics that he talks about. I, I, I agree, you know what I'm saying? I like his output or his outlook on things. But uh, I do feel like if Brittany Griner was a more prominent or more powerful celebrity that she probably would have been out by now. You know what I'm saying? There's no denying that. I do feel like her being, um, you know, uh, seven foot five, you know what I'm saying, uh, NBA player, you know what I'm saying? I know she's in the WNBA, but we all know she could probably, well, let's be honest. Is Brittany Grenier a dude? Let's be honest. Let's be real about that. Is she a dude? I think she is she I think she one of them. I think she in the secret society, bro. I think she, I think she get, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think she her real name Brian. I really do think her real name Brian. So let's really start asking ourselves that. Is she really, you know what I'm saying, down with that? But um besides that point. I do think that her, her, everything about her is the reason why it happened. One thing, she's African American descent or mixture of it. And uh, right now, Russia mad and they're going to use her as leverage. They're like, yo, we going to war with, um, we're going to, a, we're having a situation with another country. I mean, this country's having a situation. And look, we're going to use this as leverage. United States, y'all got us sanctions. Well, guess what? They're going to use her as, a, you know what I'm saying, bait. And I'm guessing that could be one of them. I'm guessing. I doubt it though. But um, I, I really don't like the sentencing of it. You know what I'm saying? I really think it was really done unfairly. But here's the thing, man. People got to take some self-accountability. We have seen this happen numerous of times to numerous people, rich, famous, regular. And we, as a person going over, we got to take extra care of our stuff and look on in our bags. Let's stop just saying, oh, well, if I, I was this person, I was that person. If you was a person who didn't have it in their bag, you wouldn't have it either. Let's say that. Let's take the color. Let's take the gender. Let's take everything out of the situation. If you was just being responsible and double check your bags as you're supposed to, it wouldn't happen. You know what I'm saying? So I advise everybody to do that. If you're going overseas, triple check, five check your stuff. I didn't play when I got on planes. I've only been on a few planes my entire life, and I ain't play when I got on. You know what I'm saying? Read the policies. And double check. I don't care how rich and famous you is. That fame ain't getting nowhere. And let me tell you something. You're not Lil Wayne. I'm trying, I, I talked to a YouTube dude the other day who called me. And uh, he was giving me advice. He was talking so crazy. I had to calm down and say, look, bro. You're only at 4,000 subscribers. You're not Lil Wayne or Jay-Z. Calm down. Nobody cares about you, man. The 4,000 subscribers don't let them ever big you up. No matter how big your number get, remember, you're still a nobody. And he was like, what? What? He got mad at me. But that's how I look at it. Like, bro, you're not, don't be bigging yourself up. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't really one of the top eight listeners, you can't get mad. Because so she said if it was LeBron, he'd have been here. True. That's true. Let's be real, y'all. Let's call a spade a spade. Boozy said if it was Taylor Swift, she'd be in America. They'd, they'd have had the white flag. That is also true. Let's call it like it is. So I do feel like, um, this situation right here is uh, something that could have been prevented. One, two, she shouldn't, I don't know about nine years. I, I gotta look at their laws and stuff, but um, I really think they're trying to use it as leverage. Do I think she's gonna do the whole nine? I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some politician who's gonna use this as their, their fingertips. I'm like, well, I free, I will free Brittany Grenier, a black woman that was put away in a country. You know, you know how they gonna spend it. So let's not even be be like that. So they're gonna spin it that way. So let's look at everything in perspective of what could possibly happen in this situation. Because I think Miss Brittany Grenier is um uh I think she's gonna be uh 
what's it called? Use it later on in the future. I think it's gonna be used later on use. So but that's pretty much all my thoughts on it, man. I don't really have too much to say about this whole thing. I really hope the best for her. I really hope she gets out of this stuff the best. I really hope everybody else does the same thing. Really triple check your stuff when you're going on there. And you know, um Hey man, hey look, I'm also gonna say this before I leave. Before I leave. Russian jail is no joke. Y'all gotta watch the documentary on Russian jail. It's no joke. She about to have a rough, a rough day. It ain't like ours. She, it ain't. And she, she can't speak that language. Y'all imagine being in a place where you can't speak the language and everybody there on that. Boy, I think I'm in a daggone um, World War One or something. I'm just sitting around like, whoa, whoa. Bobby terrified. I don't know what the heck they saying. And then, boom, you a black man? She lucky she going there with some females. She bigger than all of them. She lucky. If they ever, ever, ever expose her for what who she who he really is, it's a wrap. She going with the males, and they don't play over there. They be on that. Who's the Viking? Who's the Viking? Boy, I'm, what? Watch them Russian, Russian jails. Watch them Russian jails. But uh, that's, <laughs> that's all I had to say about that, man. Man, y'all be blessed, man. It's Boy Doing McClain, Doing McClain TV, man. Y'all subscribe to the channel, support the channel. You know what I'm saying? We got more content coming out. But let me know if there's any other topic I want me to blog on. I did see Doja Cat just uh, shaved the head ball, so I will be blogging on that. Let y'all know how that's just another game the elite be playing. You know what I'm saying? We can be safe on that as well. You know, ain't no female about to cut her hair bald. Let's be real. <laughs> now, you can go to, you can ask 2,000 women on the street right now. 2,000. You will go 2,000 for 2,000. They'll all say, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not. Most women ain't. It, it, only time a woman go bald, she got cancer, a situation happened, or, you know what I'm saying? That, that might be her thing. She might just be one of them girls who rocked the, who rocked the low cut. That's rare. Like I said, two thousand, two thousand. You might go for two thousand nine hundred and ninety-eight. There be two of them girls who be like, "Yeah, I just rocked the low cut. You know, I got the waves. You know what I'm saying?" They, every time you see a girl with a low cut, they really just got a big head and they don't look right with certain outfits or certain hairdos. So you be like, "All right, cool." You know what I mean? You you you, you get a pass. But most women they never cutting their hair, so we we can we can throw that out. We can throw that out. <laughs> we already know that's something, something going on But I'm doing a whole blog on that on my channel I'm doing a whole blog on my channel about that So we, we be on the lookout for that I'm doing a breakdown on it You know what I'm saying We'll go through every female in Hollywood NDRE Let me not give y'all the juice But anyways man Subscribe to the channel man Support them Y'all be blessed Y'all be safe I'm out